Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your fave, Gasha Sela. And it's so good to have you guys back here on today. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. And I hope everyone subscribes, like, leave a comment, and definitely share. Show your girls some love. So today, we're going to get right into today's topic, which is how I maintain my Brazilian wax. Oh, let's get right into it. <laughs> So I wanted to um, share this, I guess, um, early stage of maintenance to um, uh, add on to, like I said, my previous videos, to add on research to anybody, to anybody that is deciding to get a full Brazilian wax. When I went to, um, when I decided to get my Brazilian wax, I did my due diligence by, um, you know, doing some research, watching some videos of people that I actually trust, um, you know, listen to voices that I'm familiar with that I actually know um has some validity to it and so and i also did and i also did some research with just people just off just randomly to just to hear like to see if what the people that i do trust were saying um were actually you know accurate or if there was just some things they were not saying so if you've been watching my um brazilian wax series this will be the third installment you already know um there's been a growth through each and every video I have come on on YouTube to do. I encourage you guys to go and definitely um, watch those videos. I will drop the link down in the description box, but they will also help you if this is your first time watching me regarding this topic. So like I mentioned, this is my third um, video, which means this is my third um, post wax um, check-in point is looking like I have a little mini series which I did not really plan but it just came off like that and strangely enough each appointment has have been extremely like different like they all have been different experiences and, and that's why I felt like the need to come on and like add on to my experience from my first um, original video regarding my presenting wax but any hoodle enough talking so let's get into it so the first thing that I do and this is very simple um very very simple my, my maintenance is very simple very low maintenance in the sense of like I don't be doing too much um you know um the vagina the lady flower you know the gift the blessing you don't need to do too much you don't need to do too much you know she's naturally self-cleaning in a sense of internally you know if your um, body is functioning properly um your vagina your lady flower should your kitty whatever you guys call it should be able to clean itself from the inside out okay so our responsibility is to make sure that we are hormonal as women we remain hormonally you know correct in tune with our body types again um each body type is different so what um my body needs to remain you know hormonally correct um uh, your body type may not need it in the sense of i might have um a vitamin deficient or you know like i may need to take is insulin like there's just different things that our bodies require just know that you need to pay attention to your body and ensure that you're doing what's best for your body so this is what i do for me take take some notes don't take some notes make sure you like it leave a comment subscribe and definitely share make sure you do that so what the first thing that i do is that um i use soap i am still a bar soap user i know it's a thing for everyone to do like the liquid soaps or whatnot but i am definitely a um a bar user so um i just like lathering my soap in the cloths and you know working it i just do whatever and so what i do is that i use um natural um goat milk soap that i get from whole foods um i'm gonna see if i can link it down for you guys i did already throw away the the, the packaging that i use to um buy the soap so um i use that what i love what i love about the goat milk soap that i use um, it is um, all natural and it helps it has essential oils and um, essential properties are in there that helps the soap helps with the balancing of my pH so I love that um, again like I said internally you know your body should be good but um, externally it's our responsibility you know to keep her clean you know keep her just you know like keep just basically keep up with her so I use that soap but I like that it's, it doesn't have perfume it's an almond based soap so there's not like perfumes there's not you know uh, it's not a heavy cream it's not too much it lathers up and it cleans and I'm surprised myself because it's a natural soap so I'll put it 
into a cloth because what I learned when I was doing my research is that you need to exfoliate when you have a Brazilian wax. If you do not exfoliate at least once a day, you will put yourself in a position to get ingrown hairs. And I've seen the difference between last month's appointment and this month's appointment. So I use a um, cotton um, cloth. These are like, this is my, I would consider my softer version. I do have other like harsher, like thicker version of washcloths, which I need to get away from because they really can like, you know, mess up your skin. But I used this particular, this particular, um, this particular um, cloth that I got from Walmart. And I will put, I will get my bar, you know, with some water, put it on here. I will lather it. And I will start to like exfoliate my, my, you know, my lady flower. And I'll go around in circles. I'll make sure I get the corners. I'll get the creases. I don't get up in there, okay? I don't get up in there. But I just stay in the surface area. And I do the same thing for my um, rear. I get in my rear because it's a Brazilian wax, which means I, I removed all like hair from both my front my lay flower and the rear so i make sure i get in there and i exfoliate and um side note that when you actually clean with a cloth and you actually get into the crevices of your rear it does help with your body odor if you have um body odor down there it really does help so i use that right and then i just rinse it off you know rinse it off simple as that and then if you watch my um, video, my first video, I do I did purchase the Smooth Me Serum, which helps with the anti um, with the ingrown. It's it's an anti ingrown hair serum. So I use this once a day. I use two pumps. You know, I pump it in my hand, and I like to put it in one hand, up, and I spread it in both my hands, and I just maneuver the serum all over. And the key trick to using this is make sure you towel dry, like you towel pat your lady flower first and then apply the serum when i was experiencing um in my second video when i was experiencing so much ingrown hairs i would i realized that it was because i was trying to do it with the water and the serum and i don't think the serum was as effective because the water was diluting the serum itself but then i realized okay if i when i started like patting like um towel patting drying my lady flower and i added the serum like there were there was no ingrown hairs at all and my when i went to my third um my third appointment we had none so it was a good wax appointment I, you know we got in there she got we got out like it wasn't painful and i was like yes i finally like mastered you know how to keep my ingrown hairs in control love about this product and like I said before I don't like perfumes I don't like heavy cream the heavy like that's too much and I feel like you're messing up with your natural hormonal you know um just your natural hormonal system and your natural body odor we all have our own natural scent and I feel like when, when we go down there we try to add these perfumes these artificial perfumes by the way these poisons by the way, like it just makes it worse. So I keep her minimal so she can like naturally produce what she's supposed to produce. So what I love about this is that I actually can um, pronounce majority of the ingredients, you know, like water, um, glycerin, Camilla's sinuses, which is green tea, leaf extract. Um, there's a glare in here, so I'm trying to like move it around so I can see from the glare. You know, chamomile, if that's how, if that's how I say it, chamomile flower extract, um, glycolic acid, like lavender oil, tea tree leaf oil. Like I can actually, cerebric acid, like I can actually, I can actually read majority like of the ingredients and that's what I like about it. And the scent of this is not like pleasant, which I love. Again, I want it natural. I want it like as, as, as pure as it can be. It's not, it comes a little pump like this. Like it's not, um, it's not like, oh, this smells delicious. No, it's not. And honestly, and honestly, after you like, you know, uh, wipe it down and allow it to absorb into your skin, you really don't smell like anything. And I like it. It's a, it's a true serum. So, and it absorbs into your skin after you towel dry, pat towel pat dry your lady flower. So that's basically how I maintain my lady flower. I um, exfoliate once to two, twice a day. It depends on how I'm feeling. Um, you know my both my lay flower and both my rear then i 
towel pat dry my lady flower and then i add this only to my lady flower i asked my tech i don't know what you call them should i put this in my you know rear area she was like no it's not necessary just put it in your um um, your frontal area so i do that and you know we've been gucci and you can see that I'm, I'm actually using this we're almost like we're about a third into it a third um down and it's been three months so i'm i'm gonna say this lasts about probably about six months so it was i believe either like 28.99 or almost like thirty dollars and it lasts six months which actually is not bad so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video of how i maintain my lady flower my kitty my vagina whatever you guys call it um i do encourage you guys to please watch the two previous videos i go more in depth about my first experience you hear what i endured and then my the second video is a follow-up to the first one and it, and it does speak about my second experience how it wasn't still the best but it wasn't like the first one and it leads to this one which is much much more pleasant and they do say as you continue to go through them like get your brazilian wax or get your waxes keep up with it um it does get better and the third try um the third time actually wasn't as bad so i do encourage you guys to go watch the mini series that i have on my brazilian wax and yeah um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. Do not forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and definitely share. Join the family. What you scared of? Like, come on. Join the family. Come on over. Like, come on. Okay, guys. Until next time, it's your favorite. Gosh, Sela. Bye. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media accounts. See you there.